Hi, I'm Donna Miller and I'm going to show you how to thicken your fonts in Inkscape. So the first thing we're going to do is open Inkscape and go to the A button off to the left and we will click that to bring up a text box. So once you click and drag your text box, you're going to go ahead and type in whatever word or phrase that you want to thicken your font. Now if your font is really small and you hold the control button on the keyboard and you use the mouse wheel to go up, you are able to enlarge your font. Now to change your font, if you click on the down arrow at the top, it gives you all the lists of all your fonts. If you do not highlight your font, then you will not get the drop down arrow to be able to scroll to see the entire list of all your fonts. So I'm going to change this one to the Hello Honey font. Now we're going to weld all of these together. So we're going to go to the top left and hit the arrow button and that will let you select all of your letters. And then we're going to go to path at the top and union. This is the same thing as welding and Cricut design space. So you won't have all of the little slits. If you were to cut this, you'd have all the slits in between your letters. So this will prevent that from happening. So in order to enlarge our font, we're going to look at this paint bucket over here and we're going to click on that. That's going to change the menu at the top where it says grow and shrink by. On that number, the larger the number goes up, the thicker your font will be. Now, I don't like having my font super, super thick. So I like to make mine be like a 0.2 or a 0.3 when I'm increasing the thickness of my font. So at the bottom of the screen, you have all of these different colors. And if you click on those and then click on the words, it will thicken the font and change the color of your font at the same time. So if you didn't want your font to be black, you can turn it to being a different color. So let's say that we didn't like how thick this is because it's at a 0.7 and that's awfully thick. You can go to the top and hit the edit and the undo button and that will undo all of your past mistakes and you just keep hitting that until you get back to your original. So now that we're back to the original, I'm going to lower down the grow and shrink by and I want it to be at a 0.3 because I feel like that's the best for making your fonts thicker and not losing a lot of the details. So you just need to click in the different areas that you want to thicken. Make sure you don't miss things such as the eye. Now if you want to touch them twice, then it will double thicken them again twice. So you can always click on it more than one time to thicken things up more than once. So I'm just going to repeat this exact same process using only my initials this time. And I'm going to use that really pretty monogram font that everybody uses. It's the monogram KK and it's very pretty, but it's also very thin and it doesn't cut very well. So I'm just clicking on each one of the letters and now we're going to save this. So I'm just going to go to file and click the save as button and you can save this as anything as you want it to be. So now we're in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go ahead and import my image. I always get some weird error at the top and I just hit the green continue button and it will work. So just be aware that you might get some error when you bring it in. So now that we're in Cricut Design Space, it's always centered very oddly. So I almost always have to change my X and Y position to be like five and five so that they're in a normal spot. So I'm just showing you here very quickly the difference between this font and the normal way the font shows up. So I also would recommend when you pull this to a mat, if it's all jumbled and it doesn't look like the letters are in the correct spots, that I would attach and weld so that you don't get any gaps or anything. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this helped you see the difference between the thicker font and the thinner font. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. <music>